Okay, so now exercise number one, part B is uh, 796 minus 314, okay? Now, in this case, basically what you can do, um, 796, if I round it to the tens place value, I'll get a, I'll get essentially a, um, essentially the, the, the nine after essentially after the nine I have a six which means that I have to round up and rounding up essentially the nine becomes a ten and of course um, basically you have three place values in this number I cannot put a ten in one place value I can put essentially zero one two three and all the way up to nine in one place value meaning just one digit right two digits of course it's not possible to put in 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 one place value so then when you round up and when you have a nine in some place value then the nine becomes a ten meaning that the zero comes over here and then the one is carried over to the next place value and so essentially then one plus seven becomes an eight then you have a zero over here then and then essentially all of these digits to the right hand side of the tens place value are are essentially rounded to a zero which means that the number essentially becomes an 800 and again basically if you have 796 and if you round it to the hundreds hundredth place value then again basically um, the number essentially becomes an 800 right so then in any case essentially whether you round to the tens or to the hundreds place value the essentially 796 essentially becomes a becomes an 800 right and but then essentially 314 314 if i round it to the tens place value it becomes a 310 if i round 314 to the hundredth place value that gives me essentially a 300 right so but then essentially um, because essentially it doesn't really I mean in most cases it doesn't matter whether you round your three, 314 to a 310 or a 300 meaning that you could you could even you could just simply go with the 300 that makes the calculation much simpler right so i'm going to round essentially 314 to a 300 and so then i can write my calculation as as basically instead of 796 minus 314 i can write it as as 800 minus 300 which is the same thing as 500 right now this is this is my estimated difference. This is of course not the sum, but 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 the difference. This is my estimated difference. Whereas if I had done the the calcu the actual calculation, seven hundred ninety six minus three hundred fourteen is the same as six minus four is equal to two eight and four four hundred eighty two. So the difference over here essentially five hundred minus 482 is the same as um, it is the same as 18 right 18 is the difference and 482 is the actual number which means that essentially if you if you want to know essentially how far how far the estimated sum is from the from the um, from the actual number then of course you could form a fraction of these two numbers meaning 18 out of for example 482 which is the same as um, 18 divided by 482 is the same as 0 0.037 which if you round the number to two decimal places that would be essentially um, that would be essentially and about rounding decimal numbers we can we can even take this this example to understand so the number that i have is a 
is a 0 0.0373443987 402 that's the number that i have on the calculator you see over here the number is 0 0.0373443983402 right now this number is of course a very long number and what i care about because i want to express this number in percentage form i i care about basically I care about only these two decimal places. The rest of these decimal places are, I don't really care about them, right? Because, because essentially if you have a, if you have essentially, um, for example, a 1%, that would be the same thing as 0 0.01. If I had a 2%, that would be a 0 0.02. If I had basically a 3%, that would be a 0 0.03 and so on and so forth. All the way up to, for example, a 10% would be the same thing as 0 0.1, right? 0 0.10 you could say, but the 0 doesn't really matter in this case. Or for example, a 50% would be basically a 0 0.5, a 90% would be essentially a 0 0.9 and 100 percent would be a one right and but of course you could you could go for you could go for for example 0 0.1 percent 0 0.1 percent which would be the same thing as for example 0 0.001 right instead of 0 0.01 that would be 0 0.001 that is one thousandth and then if you divide by um, if you divide both if you when you want to essentially express your numbers in percentage form the denominator has to be a hundred meaning something out of a hundred meaning per cent so if i want to make this a hundred i have to divide a thousand by a hundred thousand divided by a hundred by a ten essentially excuse me by a ten it gives me a hundred and so i have to do the same thing in the numerator meaning one over a ten so one over a ten is the same as zero point one and hundred over a thousand over ten is, is the same as hundred that's zero point one um, out of a hundred which can be expressed as 0.1 percent right but then this much this much of accuracy is not important in is not is not really necessary in the case of the numbers that we that essentially in the, in the case of the, the the percentages that that i'm doing here because i i mean the most that i care about is whether the number is one percent two percent three percent five percent ten percent twenty percent but then at zero point one percent is not important to me in this in this situation so i don't care about so essentially the only thing that i care about is essentially one and two decimal places right so the rest of these digits are not important to me so then what I can do, I can basically, um, I, uh, of course, I have to round this number, meaning that the number that the calculator has given me, of course, the calculator has already rounded the number to so many decimal places. Otherwise, 18 over 482, you would, you would essentially keep going with the decimal places if you do the, if you did the actual division. You could actually keep going with the decimal places and then you would never come to a a essentially to a certain number of decimal places. you could keep going with the with the division the division would never end right so the calculator has already because the calculator has needs some way in order to actually show you the number and more than so many digits it cannot actually display to you it will basically it will round the number to so many decimal places but then again I, so many decimal places i don't need in this situation 
so i'm going to round simply round the number to essentially only to two decimal places which means that essentially i'm rounding the number to the um not the ones not the tens not the hundredth not the not the thousands and so on but then on the other side meaning that essentially these are the decim the, the the place values that i have so this is the ones place value this is the tens place value this is the hundreds place value this is the thousands place value this is the ten thousands and you can just keep going but then this is the one tenth one tenth place value this is the one hundredth place value this is the one so this is essentially the one tenth place value this over here is the one hundredth place value this over here is the one thousandth place value this over here is the one ten thousandth place value this over here is the one hundred thousandth place value right so that means that essentially i want to round my number to this place value which is the one tenth place value right excuse me one hundredth place value so rounding the number to the one hundredth place value what i need to do is that again the exact same thing meaning that i take a look at the i take a look at the digit to the right hand side of the 100th place value if the digit is more than is greater than or equal to five i round up if the digit is less than five i round down and now since the digit is a seven which is greater than or equal to five then of course i will round up meaning the three becomes a four so the number becomes 0, 0.04 and then all of these digits will be replaced by zeros right zero 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 and keep going right but then after the decimal point so the decimal pin point is over here after the decimal point essentially only this zero is important these zeros are not important at least not in this context <clears throat> if this number was for example in physics for example later on you will learn physics in college for example or in 11th 12th grade or something like that in some sort of measurement or situation if you had actually measured these uh, digits and you actually knew that these that these are measured zeros then of course you would you would write your number as 0 0.04000 and the number would be different from 0 0.040 for example so these numbers would be different because it because this one has two zeros more after the decimal point meaning that these would be for example measured zeros right but then in this case essentially the only um in this case essentially the only um zeros that are important to me is this zero because it's a placeholder because if this zero was not there then the number would be 0 0.4 which is for example so this number is a four percent but this number is a 40 percent right so this zero is important but then these zeros over here even if you had a million of them they are not important here because whether i write the number as 0 0.04 or if I write, if I wrote the number as 0 0.04000, or if I wrote the number as 0 0.4, for example, 000000, <coughs> that would mean the same thing, right? Because this is 400th, this is 400th, this is 400th. In all cases, all of these numbers are 400th so then of course so, so so as a result essentially these zeros are not important in this case in this context right so i'm going to um so then i could i could simply round the number to 0 0.04 right and 
so essentially then I could I could I could write this this calculation as 0 0.04 which is 400 meaning 4 out of every hundred which is the same thing as essentially 4 percent right now 4 percent means essentially um, now essentially if somebody asks me for example what was the estimate that you got f as a result of the, the, the difference that uh, as a result of the subtraction that you did I could say I would say for example the the estimated difference was a 500 and um, 500 essentially and and then if they have and then if they needed to know essentially for example what essentially how close is my estimate to the actual number I could say that the I could say that then then that that that, that the number is is essentially um, is essentially the actual number meaning the actual difference give or take four percent right give or take four percent um, would be essentially uh, meaning that if you if I, I could I, I could simply say that for example that the actual number plus or minus four percent would be for example my estimated difference right so then that that would that that would mean that for example then based on the information that I have given them they then they, they could act they could they could essentially make arrangements for the number okay so that's another another basically example now in um, the next example that we have is uh, basically 1b so 1c essentially and one part c is 12,904 plus 2,888, right? 2,088. And so now, in order to do the, to, 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 to do this calculation, what I could do is that, for example, what I would do is that I would round this this number, this number over here, to the thousands place value, meaning to this place value over here, and I would do the same thing for this number as well, meaning I would round this to also to the thousands place value, meaning I would write essentially twelve thousand nine hundred four, rounded to the thousands place value would be a thirteen thousand, right? because essentially next to next to the thousands place value I have a nine and then the nine is essentially is greater than or equal to five so I round up the th the two becomes a three so that's one three and then these three digits are replaced by zero so that's a thirteen thousand and then I do the same thing over here two two thousand eight hundred eighty eight is rounded rounded to the thousands place value next to the thousands place value I have an 8 which means that then I would um, round up meaning the 2 becomes a 3 and then these 3 digits are replaced by 0 so that's a 3000 and so then the same calculation I can write it as essentially a 13,000 plus a 3000 that's that's essentially I mean the the these numbers are close enough to these numbers and moreover this essentially makes the calculation very simple meaning 13,000 plus 3,000 is the same thing as 16,000 and that is um, whereas essentially if you did the actual calculation for example 12,904 12, plus 2,888 that would be the same thing as 12 1 that's a 9 that's a 17 1 that's a 5 and 1 that's 15,792 and the difference is only about um, 200 
essentially that's a that's a hundred seven ninety two let's say um, eight hundred so that's a two hundred eight essentially the difference is only two hundred eight out of sixteen thousand which is almost nothing meaning um, meaning essentially um, sixteen thousand minus sixteen thousand minus fifteen thousand seven hundred ninety two is two hundred eight and that is two hundred eight out of sixteen out of essentially this number over here so two hundred eight out of for example fifteen thousand seven hundred ninety two that's something about one percent right that's something about one percent meaning that meaning that essentially the estimated sum is essentially if if you if you take the actual essentially the actual sum um uh, meaning that the, the estimated sum is off by essentially only one percent from the actual sum so that's a very good estimate okay so that's that's basically um the next that's that's essentially one part c and then and then we have one part d which is twenty eight thousand nine two hundred ninety two two hundred ninety two minus twenty one thousand four hundred ninety six again in the case of this number these numbers for example i would say that i would i i, I would essentially round both of the numbers to the to the thousands place value meaning 28,292 rounded to the thousands place value that gives me a 28,000 and 21,496 rounded to the thousands place value gives me a 21,000 and now the calculation is simple enough because i know that I could do it even in my head, meaning 28,292 is just 28,000, 21,496 is just 21,000, 28 plus 21 is the same thing as 49, so it's, it's approximately 49,000, right? And of course, you can, you can do the calculation here, 28,000 plus 21,000, is the same as 49,000, right? So, um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. The, I made a mistake here. It's, it's, it's a difference, not, not a sum, right? It's a difference. So then I could say that basically 28,000 minus 21,000 is just 7,000, right? It's just seven thousand. That's that's essentially the estimated difference. Now, what is the actual number that I would have gotten if I had actually done the, the calculation? That's um, that is. I should put the calculator somewhere over here, and that's twenty-eight thousand two hundred ninety-two minus twenty-one thousand four hundred ninety-six. That's 6,796. 6,796. So you see that the numbers are very close. And the difference is, let's say that that's 6,800. So that's 200. The, the difference is essentially a 204. The difference is a 204 and um and then um that's essentially the essentially 204 out of a 6000 out of a 6796 <clears throat> which is the same thing as that's 204 out of a 6796 
which is something around 3%. So you're very close to the actual number, right? So that was, um, that was essentially, um, mm, that was essentially all of the questions related to essentially exercise one. In the next video, we will essentially continue with exercise two. Thank you. <clears throat>